everybody and thanks for joining me today so today uh, I'm going to show you how to make footage come through text it's quite a cool little effect for whatever reason you need it uh, I'm going to show you how it's done but first I'll give you a little preview of what we're talking about so this is what we're going to do as you can see the footage will only come through where our text is pretty neat huh Okay, so how is this done? Well, that's why you're here, I guess. Let's get rid of this and start again. Alright, so what we need to do is we need to create some text. So we go into our title track, double click, double click again onto our preview window, just type in anything. I'm going to use the word hello. Isn't that nice? Now, obviously, you can change. You know your font to whatever size or shape you wish. Make sure it's white. And also, what I always do is try to pick a really thick font because it works better if it's thin. And, you know, you're not going to see too much. Make sure you have no shadow. So we'll just double check no shadow. Okay, now we actually haven't done anything yet. All we did is create text on on our title track, but we need to turn this into a photo. So go to Tools, Painting Creator, and there it is. Now, just in case it didn't appear, you may have uh, one of these references unchecked or in the wrong position. So make sure it is in the current timeline image and press OK. Also, do not use animation mode, use still mode and Make sure the enable layer mode is unchecked, and that should be it. Now, what you have essentially done, you've taken a snapshot or a photo of the background, but you can't use a background because technically it's not a photo. So we need to still create a photo of this, but we need to do that. We actually have to do some work. So the easiest way I found was just use the color white and then click anywhere in white using your paintbrush and now look it's highlighted snapshot so I'm allowed to now create a snapshot and there it is and then I just press OK and it goes into samples so you know I'm, I'm a bit anal so I'm going to copy this then I'm going to go into where I have created my folder as you can see I've you know, I've done this before, I practice so I can look really professional. <laughs> Alright, so let's grab uh, your footage and let's grab Hello. And let's just size it to match the footage. So double click, mask and chroma key, you click apply because you're applying uh, the overlay and then use your color overlay mask and select white and there you'll see that the footage is coming through the text isn't that neat so simple nothing to it now uh, I'm just going to get back here I'm just going to turn this right up to 100 it just makes it as everything is just a little bit more crisp <laughs> There you go. Isn't that cool? Now you don't actually just need to use uh, the font that you create within the corral. You can also import anything you wish. And it doesn't actually have to be font. It can be anything you want, so long as it's a picture. So, uh, for example, my my intro, which was a fire. I created this one using uh, like Crowd Draw. Once I have created that file, I just imported it, and I did that doing the exactly the same thing. I did Tools Paint Creator. I click on my Background Image Options, and I'm going to go to Custom Image. Click my browser and find out where is that picture. So it's here. I press OK. And now see, now I've got my picture. And again, I have to still create a snapshot. So I'm just going to click anywhere in the white snapshot. And there it is. 
that's okay. And there, same thing, copy. I'm gonna, well, look at that, it really went there. Never mind. I really should stop smoking. Pot. <laughs> and there it is. So, and it's exactly the same. Right click, chroma key, overlay, white. Let's uh, get that to screen, shall we? So it looks awesome. And voila. And there you go. Well, again, as always, thanks for watching.